Yes, we are going to the office of Congressman Pete Aguilar and one of his constituents, Darren, do you want to just show me quickly the, we're going to be presenting this Numbers USA documentation. Uh, Congressman Pete Aguilar is the one that introduced the amendment that would you know, allow that, DACA's to... This would allow DACA dreamers, um, it would allow them to be eligible for federal government employment opportunities, which to me is disgraceful. It's, it, those are great jobs for American citizens. There's a lengthy background check process that goes into it. Correct. And we're going to let people that came here illegally, that have been, that are not and are supposed to be in our country, be eligible for those jobs. Every one of those positions that's taken by, by a DACA recipient is an opportunity ripped away from an American citizen. Exactly. And that's disturbing. It so is. So we're here to talk to him about it and yes. see what he has to say. And we have uh, information. We're working, even though we're local and constituent based, we are working nationally to get this amendment removed from the spending bill. We do not want to see this go forward. It was put in in uh, an underhanded way right. by a voice, voice vote instead of recorded vote. So we're here to let the congressman know that we oppose the amendment and we're putting him on notice that we're going to be working to get it removed. We want it removed. We want it removed. Thank you. Gentlemen. Darren Espiritu, I'm a constituent of the representative yes, Aguilar. Am. We'd like to talk to him. Is he available? He's not I know he's in the Inland Empire still, he's, right? No, he's not here right now. Okay. Is there someone that we can talk to? We have some concerns about the amendment that was added to the appropriations bill that would allow DACA dreamers to be eligible for federal. Sure. You guys want to basically leave comments for him so you can get back Is to there, Can we sit down to uh, someone in the office? Uh, we, we have to have a meeting with someone in the office. Well, we just five minutes. Some of that Roman stuff. Ahead of time because we have meetings already on, well, we just have on the schedule. In, so can you I know, but we have meetings on the schedule. So. Could we just meet with the district director out here then? Would he come out and meet, or she come out and meet with yeah, us? Yeah, give me one second. Thank great, you. Great. We appreciate that. Can thank you. Go ahead and each one of you sign in. Sure. Thank you. So we're waiting in the reception area to meet with staff members. We're having the constituent fill out the information. Mm -hmm. we'd, we'd like to speak to someone. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. 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 So we're here because we have some concerns about um, an amendment that the representative added to the Appropriations mm -hmm. Bill okay. that would allow DACA Dreamers to be eligible for federal employment opportunities. Mm -hmm. And we had some concerns about that. And we also have a letter um, from Numbers USA that also talks about it. Um, you can maybe describe this letter. Yes. Um, well, we are working with groups nationwide that are very disappointed that this amendment was added to the spending bill and we're working to get it removed. Uh, we have been in contact with House leadership and have feel like it's going well where we are requesting that this amendment be removed. So we want the uh, congressman to know that, that we do oppose the amendment and we're working very hard to get it removed. We think that the focus should be uh, American dreamers, American college students, um, American workers that are unemployed, our homeless families. We want to see our congressmen focus, focusing on Americans first. Okay, great. Um, That's what the sign Jared, says, America first. Right. Jared has some uh, forms. If you guys can fill this out and just kind of detail that in the forms, and then we'll make sure the congressman gets that, and we can get you a formal response from him. Just make sure okay. you get a uh, good address, name, and so we can okay. contact you. Yeah, we just like to say that it was done in a sneaky way, and Pete Aguilar should be ashamed of himself for doing that. Okay. Because they tried to sneak it in, and it was caught. Yeah, we definitely uh, put that point on here too, as well. And I want to. Have I, to mention veterans. 
They need yes. jobs. Veterans, our jobs. veterans need jobs. Americans yeah. are suffering. They're the ones and, that stuck up for us right. and get, put their life and on the And he hires veterans, actually, and <laughs> we work on it. We're actually two veterans right now, so yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's actually very yes, thank, thank you, you. Thank you for your you, service. Let me get some more for, for I can just tell you that I'm a constituent of his. I live in North San Bernardino. Um, the way I see this this amendment as it's written and as it would be implemented is that every opportunity taken by an illegal alien dreamer is an opportunity being ripped away from That's an right. American citizen. You're talking about record high housing prices, things you know, all the concerns that you have in California, the difficulty for for young people to make to step up and, and, and have a, own a home or, or have a business or, or you know, buy things that they want. These are great jobs and, and they should be reserved. They're federal jobs, they should be re yes. reserved for American citizens. <coughs> Plus there's a high level of responsibility when you're working for the federal government. We don't know the histories of all the people that are coming here. It's very difficult to do a background check on them. Those jobs require extensive background checks. So we're just very concerned about it and we want to see American citizens being prioritized, especially for federal government employment. So, we appreciate your time and okay, yeah, I hope definitely. that you can convey the message to him. Does he have any events going on today? Or? Um, not today. He has some meetings. He's all over the district today. Uh, but we do have uh, a Veterans Resource Fair coming up. So I, you know, that's a great event for uh, the 31st District. Uh, we're connecting veterans with, uh, with much needed resources that they may not know about as well as like some job help, resume building, okay, things okay, like okay, that. So. Uh, that'll be August 18th. Yeah. Right, August 18th, the Veterans Resource yes. Fair. Yeah. And where's that at? So we have uh, Frank Gonzalez Center in Colton. Yeah, Colton. Colton. Yep, Colton Community Center. Because okay. yeah. my son in law is a veteran, he's in the hospital in Arizona, mm -hmm. and there's a job in Virginia to be with the government. He's an artist, and because it's the museum, and I know he wants that job in the worst way. And he's trying to work through all the problems he, he picked up from being in Iraq. Mm -hmm. For two tours and yeah. uh, Good PTSD. Yeah, that's what he has. Yeah. We'll, we'll have all the resources yeah. out there and everything, uh, people to help build resumes and stuff for all veterans. Also, uh, the VA will be there uh, to help out with casework and stuff. So yeah. if you know any other veterans that are kind of yeah. trying to build, a, you yeah. know, case for for benefits and stuff, they can go over there. We're gonna have a class wife. available and um, a, a VA casework. My daughter is his wife. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, we have definitely information. For and, and and just I'd like to, to to point out that I'm there. There has been some legislation that he's done that I actually support, namely the support for North Park Elementary School in the wake of that that tragic shooting that happened there. That was good. That supports American citizens and American schools, and I appreciate that. But this, on the other hand, mm -hmm. this doesn't support no. American citizens. No. This supports DACA dreamers and illegal aliens and their families. And we, the president's agenda has been America first, and we want to support that, and members of Congress should follow along with that, because that's what America voted for. Okay, definitely. Um, do you have, uh, you guys need clipboards or pens or something? Mm -hmm. or did you want to fill them out right now? Or do you want to take them and bring them back? Yeah, we'll fill them out and bring them back. Okay, okay, okay. okay. great. All right, well, thanks Thank for coming by. I really appreciate it. My name is Enrique, by the way. Thanks for your guys' service. Thank you. I appreciate, Thank you. appreciate Thank you. you saying that. Thank you. 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 Your tats are too low. I'm sorry? I said your tats are low when you were in the service, they weren't that low. I can remember. Yeah, because they're covered up. Long yeah, the, oh, that's yeah. right. Well, here's what happened. So they were. Yeah. Lots <laughs> changing, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. All right. All right. Okay, so we put the congressman on notice that we are working to get this amendment um, removed. We're working nationwide with Numbers USA and our House leadership and calling upon them to do the right thing and remove this very horrific amendment from the spending bill. Absolutely. It, it's, every, like I said, every job taken, every federal government job taken by an illegal alien is a position and an opportunity exactly. at the American dream ripped away by an American citizen, for an American exactly. citizen. It's wrong, it's shameful, and it's not what the people of the United States voted for when they voted Donald Trump into the White House. It's clear, it's right. clear defiance to the American it first agenda. It is clear defiance. It's a slap in the face to, to the, uh, all Americans should be offended by this and should be deeply disturbed by this. Great, good job.